guys, happy Friday. Well, today, have I got a haul for you. So I've been out of the house just a little bit. And um, so I do have a, I do have some things from, I think it's Ross and TJ Maxx, an antique store. And then here's the kicker. Okay, so here's the kicker. So my daughter, she goes down to Haymarket, Virginia, um, several times a week. And she calls me yesterday and she goes, mom, I'm over by the Copper Cricket. Would you like me to stop by? I said, oh, would you? Oh, I would love that. I said, okay. And she's like, I'm in the car, I'm driving. I said, okay, I'm gonna go on their Facebook page. I always like to go to their mobile uploads because that gives me a good indication of what has been recently posted. And then I went and I did screenshots of things that were of interest to me. And then I sent them to her. And I said, when you get there, FaceTime me and we'll navigate the store together. And that's what she did. And you guys, boy, did I score. Wait till you see what, what I got. Who have been with my channel quite a while. What do I have a big obsession with in my decor? Any takers? Any guesses? Stop, pause the video, drop in the comments what you think I'm obsessed with decor related. Oh wait, I'm obsessed with roosters. Completely obsessed with roosters. So, and yesterday was like the rooster day of all days. I couldn't believe it. She was walking through. I'm like, oh, there's a rooster. There's a rooster. I'm like, what is that over there? And she's like, a rooster, mom. And I'm like, she goes, isn't that cute? And I'm like, oh, yes. And then I'm like, what is the price? What is the price? What is the price? I only got one because I do have quite the rooster collection. I had to rein myself in yesterday because I literally could have gone crazy. Okay, let me go run and get Mr. Rooster and I'll be right back. And in the meantime, let's think of a name for this rooster. Let's name it. Be right him. back. Okay, well here he is in all his glory. And he's a big one. He's a big boy and just so pretty, so pretty. You know, really for any kitchen, any tabletop, um, I might be putting him up on my big bookcases coming up next week. So I'm not sure yet, but I just think he's adorable. Adorbs. I had to go run and get the rest of it. But uh, yeah, let's, let me show you what I got. Such treasures. It's like a treasure hunt in that store. So check this out. A tray, sorry, I got a hair in my face. A tray belongs in here and it's a fleur-de-lis tray. Isn't that cool? Let me set it down so you can see. But isn't this cute? It gives it a really um, cute look with the fleur-de-lis and I love fleur-de-lis. Isn't that pretty? This is an artichoke on a stand. And I like how it's white and chippy and cute. So we got that. And look at this one. Look how big this one is. Cute, right? When I saw this, I thought it was just darling. So I've really been into these little hurricane lamps. So let me show you this. So here's, here's the top of it. Let me show you the bottom. The bottom part is what sold me. Now you tell me, what girl doesn't like a little crystal? Isn't this unique? I just found it to be so charming. And then when you go to put this on, they had it turned on in the store so I could see what it, you know, I always like to see what things look like before you buy them, but look how pretty. No clue where I'm gonna put this. If you guys have any suggestions, drop them below. Next, I've been really trying to add pops of black here in the log home. And so when she showed me this, I'm like, get that, get that. Cause 
I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it, but isn't it pretty? It just has fruit and I love the color green in here. It's just very subtle, very pretty. But um, let me go get some greenery because I, I've got the perfect greenery for this vase. So I just ran and I got my favorite greenery garland, Hobby Lobby. And the great thing about this is I can just stuff it in here. Hold on, let's see. You get the gist. This looks like a mess, a mess. Maybe what I'll do is cut this garland. That's what I'm gonna do. It's just too much to stuff in there. But um, I'm gonna make it so that it's kind of spilling off, you know, one of the sides. And then I may do something in the center of it that goes pretty with this, but I love this. The next thing I got was this really cool piece. And you can hang it on the wall. Um, you could set it on a tabletop too. And one thing I love about the Copper Cricut, if this comes, you know, without any, any greenery, sometimes they'll plop greenery in and sell it all together, which is kind of cool. And then, you know, it allows me to kind of play with it or add to it, take away, you know, at least you have options. So um, I'll need to play with this, but I thought it was just very cute. Next, we found this pretty jar. And, um, you know, with summer approaching, I just thought I would do something really cute here in the kitchen or on my baker's rack or perhaps my French country hutch. But I thought this was darling. So this was a great find. Green's my favorite color. Next, she found this adorable, beautiful basket. And what I'm gonna do is take these eggs out and replace them with lemons. And I think it's gonna be darling, but this was such a great find. It says not Easter, but it says $14.50. That's what I bought it for. But isn't that pretty? I love it. Very interesting basket. I love the little green wispies and the yellow flowers. Now my next two items, I would say are rather unusual. I've seen these before in the past, but not exactly like this. But check out this I got two lamps. They're basically, they look like upside down lamps. And what I loved was the detailing around the lamp. And then this, see how it looks inside? And then you've got this cute little top. And I, I just thought the top and the beading, it was it for me. I just loved it. So I said, get those, get those. So I got two of them, a pair. And when you turn it on, it's such a beautiful glow. And I had these on the other night and I just loved them. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these on my bookcases in the sunroom or I may just put them away in my storage room and bring them out at fall because the color just, at night it reminds me of fall. It will be beautiful during the fall time, but um, I love them so much I may just keep them out. When I saw this, I just could not pass it up because like I said, I love, I think in a log home, using a lot of metals and wrought iron and rustic woods and, and then colors to lighten and brighten the place really work well together. And you can take a piece like this, you can add lighter, brighter colors, you can add a wreath, add some texture, sky's the limit. But when I saw this, I loved it. First of all, look at the detail. And look at, look at this detail right here. It's huge. I love these sorts of pieces and they're so versatile. You can basically put them anywhere. I have even debated going out onto the deck and putting this up on one of the walls and putting a seasonal wreath out there when we sit and barbecue and have drinks. I think this would be really cute. It's almost like bringing a little bit of the inside. Now the next piece I found, well, she found, but 
like I said, I, I did a screenshot. I'm like, get that mirror if you see it, if it's not, if it's reasonably priced. I, what I loved about it was the detailing on the mirror. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it, but we will find a place. And it's super heavy, It's bevel, it has beveled glass. You can tell it's just super, how am I gonna lift this? It's so heavy. And, and it's super funny because whenever she goes to the store, when she FaceTimes me, it things always look so much smaller. And then when she comes through the door with these items, I'm like, oh my, like the rooster. I was like, oh my gosh, he's that big? She goes, mom, wait till you see the mirror. I was like, oh my gosh, it's that big? It was just, it's always a surprise when you shop the Copper Cricket especially when someone does the shopping for you and they come home and you're like, wow, I'm really loving this FaceTime shop with me. I, I can't pick it up, it's too heavy. So I'm just gonna take the camera down and show you. And this is the mirror, but look at how pretty the detailing is. It's a beveled mirror, so that's always nice. And and see how pretty it is and big it is. Okay, so that will wrap up my Copper Cricut haul. Now we're moving on to TJ Maxx. Got a bag of lemons, perfect for summer to fill it with. I always like to put these in my apothecary jars and cute baskets. Sky's the limit. And then check out what I found. I'm really into baskets lately. I don't know why, but I am. So I got a set of three. They're super cute. They have little handles. Let me take the small one out. They have cute little baths. You can put these inside. You can tuck them inside or you can have them up like this. Now, when I did my bread display, I took a basket like this. You can actually put another basket on top like this and you can put throw blankets kind of off the side. You could put some small pillows. Um, it just gives it a more interesting look, I think. I also got this basket because I thought it was super cute. Love these. We got this lemon wreath, TJ Maxx, $24.99 for this. Now, the other day I was at Ross and I picked up these cute candlesticks, candle holders, $6.99. You cannot beat the prices at Ross. But aren't those cute? Wait till you see what I got to go with it, these. And then I picked up this cute little item, but look how well these go together. So I might do some sort of display using this with these candle holders. Not sure yet, but like I said, I think these items go really well for farmhouse and for rustic for a log home. I don't know. You could do fridge country with this too, but I'm thinking more, I'm bringing back a little bit of farmhouse. I, I watched a few of my old videos and then I started missing decorating that way. So I'm not gonna go full on farmhouse like my other house, but just a little touch, little touches here and there. So I Stay always tuned. like to try to think out of the box and come up with things that are different and unusual. And I think this is it. So. <laughs> guys are gonna laugh. I saw these at Ross. These were $7.99. Just, you know, little decorative pieces. But I'm going to rig something up where I take perhaps a this candle holder and I'm gonna find a way to set this on here. I know exactly what I'm gonna and do. And then I think I'm gonna make some sort of floral arrangement with some greenery sort of dropping or cascading off the side with maybe a pop of color for summer. I think it's going to be really pretty. So stay tuned for that. I totally forgot I had these, but yeah, I got two. As I was walking by the garden area of Ross where they have their garden decor, I, I saw this. This is wood. It's, I have to say you guys, this is super good quality. It's very heavy. It has galvanized steel right here and on the handles. I don't know, I just thought I might rig up some sort of floral arrangement in this, put some square styrofoam in here, and then do a beautiful display in this for summer. Go big or go home is my motto. 
totally forgot I stopped off at Marshall's. My uh, daughter needed some new summer clothing, so we stopped off there. And of course, she hit the clothes section. I hate clothes shopping with a passion, with an absolute passion. So I said, you go uh, find some clothes. Let Text me when you're ready for me to come look and I'll be in the decor section. So you guys were really good the other day telling me what the um, succulent types were that I had in my uh, vignette the other day. I don't know what this is, but I think it's similar. I'm not sure, but I liked it so much I picked up two. I love these. And um, for summer, I think it's, going to be a cute way to jazz up any tabletop, hutch, wherever. But I think they're super pretty. I am completely obsessed with these little pedestals. And I found this at Marshall's for $9.99. I like these because you can use these when you're decorating to elevate items and use them as a riser. You can use these and put a cloche on top to display something on the inside. And other times, I like to Sometimes. do this. I just like to plop a wreath on top. You get the cute little decorative detail on the bottom and then just place a candle in the center. Speaking of candles, I found these, where did I find these? Oh, Ross. It's, it's called Floral Garden. Oh, you guys can't see. Floral Garden. Scented candle. I am telling you, this smells so good. Like you just got, I don't like overpowering scents, but I love scents that smell like you're fresh out of the shower, like just a really clean, fresh scent. And this is it. I mean, this, mm, I'm telling you guys, if you go to Ross, get this candle. I purchased two because they smell so good. I'm like, if this one's, if this runs out, I've got a backup. I've got a backup to the back. I should have gotten three. Backup to the backup to the backup. So anyway, I could take this beautiful candle, set it here, and and then burn it. And look how pretty that is. It matches like the the brown with the white. It's just it's beautiful. And um, this will look great Last for weekend, summer. weekend, my husband and I drove down to Charlottesville because I wanted to stop at a uh, uh, a natural. Um, what is it called? Like a health food store. Um, they had really good, like a really good paleo section. So I went there and on our way back, we passed an antique mall. And he said, do you want to stop? And I said, sure. Because he loves to go searching for vinyl records and I'll hit the decor areas. So it's kind of fun. And um, anyway, I found this in one of the booths and I thought it was super cool. I really like how it's gonna go well in this log home. It's got, you know, black and green. It almost looks like it's mossy and then it's got this um, like twiggy stuff around it. And, and then, then the I got this cute little wreath. And so I thought I might do something with this. Hey, this little an idea. pedestal, stick this on top in the center and I could play with this, you know. But anyway, it, I think that would be kind of cute. Now, I was in another booth at the antique store and I saw these candle holders. I just thought they were really pretty. So I picked these up and I like the fact that they had these big, uh, you know, the pointers there for the candles, but I most likely won't use these that way. I'll most likely put a really cool moss ball on top. But I thought these were gorgeous. Oh, there's one more item I forgot to share uh, at the Copper Cricket, and that is a huge lamp. Once again, in FaceTime, I thought this was a small to medium-sized lamp. So when she walked through the door, I went, well, what am I going to do with that? That's a big lamp. Hold on, let me go get it. And here it is. It's a black leather lampshade with a cool finial at the top. And I like how there's uh, a darker color at the bottom. I mean, I love this lamp. This is such a cool find. So again, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but let's just say decorating this weekend will be fun. Now I do have one more thing from the Copper Cricket 
This is from a shopping trip a couple times back and I totally forgot to share. This was only $10.50 and look how cute. A rooster and I have been walking around aimlessly the last several weeks trying to find a place for it and I finally did today. So stay tuned for that. Super cute though. You just never know what you're gonna find at the Copper Cricket. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed my haul. Come back and see me next week because my bookshelf finally came and um, we bought a new TV to go into the middle bookshelf. We did some rigging with this bookshelf. You'll see on uh, Wednesday. And we are gonna decorate that whole wall. It's gonna be so much fun. I've already gathered items that I think will look good in there. And um, so that'll be a lot of fun next week. And I'm not sure, what am I gonna do Friday? Well, we might be talking and showing, talking about um, what's going on down below in the new bar. They're, they're making lots of headway. They, uh, they got the bar set in. They got a, the butcher block with the sink, the farmhouse sink set in. I think hubby and I are going to run to Lowe's this weekend and get some more shiplap to do a whole other side. So stay tuned for that. That's all coming up. Uh, but have a great weekend. And thank you guys for all of your wonderful comments. I read every single one. I, I'm horrible with responding, but please know, I read every single one. Each one goes right here to my heart. And um, I appreciate you guys so very much. I hope you know that. Um, but anyway, have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye guys. Bye.